Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at dictionary class in C Sharp. So let's first start with creating our first C Sharp console project, open Visual Studio and then create a new project, then go to your Visual C Sharp and then find console project. When you create console project, you will find empty solutions such as this here i want you to add using system collections and system collections generic okay once you add that inside static void main method i want you to add dictionary and within these less than and equal greater than sign i want you to add string and integer okay so the key value pair here we want for our dictionary has string key and integer value. So DC is my dictionary object. And then I'm going to create string integer and then bracket. This creates object of our dictionary. Now let's add some values in it add that remove this semicolon and instead add bracket okay so this curly, curly bracket will contain your set of values so first value let's say abc then comma then our integer then comma again curly bracket then let's say bbc then second value then comma again, then CBC, then integer value, then within curly bracket EBC, then fourth value, and that's it. Then we finally end our dictionary definition here. Okay, after defining that, we have to access this dictionary. For that, we can make use of for each loop. And here, we are going to make use of key value pair. And here, we will check for string and integer. And let's name it, let's say, pair in, let's say, DC. So, from our dictionary, it will iterate through each value. So console dot right line and here I'm just going to output pair. Okay, so pair will be outputted one after another, but in order to individually show the pair, we have to simply call for each element separately. So zero, then one then our quotes ending then comma then we call for pair dot key also comma pair dot value okay that's it then outside type in console dot read and then execute Now as you can see, it is outputting my dictionary values, key and this respective value. So this was a short introduction to dictionary class in C-sharp. 